Unlocking English. The power of prefixes, suffixes, and roots. Hello, language learners. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of prefixes, suffixes, and roots in English. These little elements can transform the meaning of words and are incredibly helpful when tackling vocabulary questions in the GMAT and GRE. Understanding these elements will not only enhance your test preparation but also your general English proficiency. Prefixes and suffixes are groups of letters added to the beginning or end of a root word to change its meaning. The root is the primary part of the word that carries its main idea. Think of the root as the heart of the word. Prefixes, placed before a root word. For example, un, in, undo. Suffixes, added to the end of a root word. For example, li, in, quickly. Roots, the core part of the word. For instance, script, in, transcript. Let's go over some of the frequently used prefixes in the English language. Un means not. Example, unknown, pre means before. Example, pre-order, anti means against. Example, antibacterial, inter means between. Example, interact. By understanding these prefixes, you can often deduce the meaning of unfamiliar words. Suffixes, just like prefixes, play a vital role in shaping the meaning of words. Full means full of. Example, joyful. Less means without. Example, hopeless. Meant denotes an action or process. Example, agreement. Ness turns adjectives into nouns that denote equality. Example, happiness. Roots, often borrowed from other languages like Latin or Greek, are the foundation of many English words. Graph means write. Examples, autograph, graphite. Spect means see or look. Examples, inspect, spectator. Ject means throw. Examples, eject, project. When you recognize a root in a word, even if the word is new to you, you can make an educated guess about its meaning. There you have it, folks. By mastering prefixes, suffixes, and roots, you're equipping yourself with powerful tools to decode and understand a vast array of English words. We hope this video has been enlightening. Remember, every step you take in understanding these elements brings you closer to acing those vocabulary questions in GMAT and GRE. Happy learning and see you in the next video.